you know, we all need those feel good moments. And I just, I just indulged and it wasn't even bad, but I did indulge. I went to Ulta. I went to Marshall's. Yeah, I just did, I did a little bit of a shopping haul. Not much, just a little bit. But you know what? I'm trying to get in the spirit. So I needed to do it. So anyways, if you're curious as to what I bought, stay tuned. I, like you, like I'm sure all of you, I just cannot wait for 2020 to be over with. I am so over this year, so over this year. And you know, usually I do not want to hurry a year. Usually I want to, I, I get to in December and I go, oh gosh, February is my birthday. I'm going to be a year older. And so I kind of like am doing more, wanting to slow the time down rather than speed it up. But I'll tell you, 2020, I can't wait to say bye to 2020. So I did a little re retail therapy. I had met Actually, you're probably watching this. I had met a, a subscriber and also someone that I've connected to on Facebook. And, um, she, we met up in, in, a, in the parking lot in one of the local grocery stores. And it was kind of snowy, rainy, kind of early crappy day. But we met up because she wanted to see a color of a wig in person. And I happened to be selling it. And so she bought the wig. We met in the parking lot. It was really, really interesting to meet sort of a stranger in a parking lot with masks on, no less, right? But we did. And so after that was over, I wanted to go the day before, but I couldn't. Something had come up. I can't remember what. But after that was over, I decided I was going to, I was just going to go to Ulta. And um, I had texted with Sheila, simply Sheila. And I said, I'm up. I'll done my meeting. I'm going to Alta. And she said, make sure you have your 20% off coupon. Turned around, went back home. Well, first of all, I stopped on the side of the road to see if I could find it in my email. Well, I couldn't. So I turned around, went back home, opened my laptop, went in my trash and found my 20% off coupon in Alta. So then I said, all righty then. So I went to Alta and armed with my 20% off coupon and I think I was like in the store for about an hour and a half. And truthfully, I think that was the longest I have ever been in an Ulta. It was rainy, snowy mixture, but I didn't care. I had my 20% off coupon and I walked all around. And you know, I didn't buy that much, but one thing, I love this particular bag. And it's just very simply, see beautiful today. I like the message. So anyways, that's what I, I decided I was going to do. I was going to see beautiful today and I was going to have a whole different mindset. So one of the things that I bought and I'll share with you is this setting spray. This was highly recommended from both Marlene and Sheila. Marlene Fab and Glam and Simply Sheila both had talked about this setting spray and I use a number of different setting sprays and I don't like a mattifying setting spray. I like to have the sort of fine you know dewy finish so to speak because when you get to my age and your skin is dry dewy is better. Dewy isn't greasy. Not usually anyways. I've only used it once so far. It has a really nice fine mist. I was very, very surprised. So yeah, I bought it. I'm really looking forward to using it and let you know how I like it. I also in Ulta decided I was going to buy, and I have not used it yet. You'll see I have bare nails, nothing on my nails. My nails are horrible, but I just wanted to, um, I wanted to see how this would work. And this is the Sally Hansen. It's the two step. It's got the color and then it's got the top coat, and this is the gel that you can use without a lamp. So if this even works for me and holds my polish for two or three days, I'd be happy, never mind the seven or eight days they say it'll do. So I haven't used it yet. I'm going to do my nails tonight, and I'm gonna see how they look. I, I'm kind of kicking myself because I bought, this is sort of the ombre purple gel. It's really pretty. I think it looks more rusty in the camera, but it's really pretty, but I wish I had bought the silver glitter lately. And I may go back and get that if this works out. So these are the two things that I, I bought for polishes in Ulta. The other thing that I bought in Ulta, and I bought three of them, and I haven't opened them yet at all, but for the very first time, and I'm sure Ulta has had this before, 
um, or this isn't new, but I've never really noticed it before. So this is Ulta Beauty Moisturizing Foundation Stick. So I was looking at it and I noticed that they were saying that you can use it for a contour. You can also use it as a concealer. So I said, hmm, buy two, get one free, 20% off, why not? So I like the fact that they had identified it, like you could, these shades for the warm, these for neutral, these for cool. So I got three cool shades. One is the deep cool, one is the light cool, and the other is the medium to tan cool. The thing I have with contour is that most contour sticks go orange on me. I have a contour stick that I've used for a long time. It's from NYX. It has the, uh, the darker contour on one end and it has a highlighter on the other end. And I really like that. But when after a while, when I use it on my face, like 10 minutes later, the next thing I know, it looks orangey. It looks like orangey mud on my face and I really don't like that. So I figured I'd try this. It's sort of an indulgent. It didn't really break the bank. It wasn't very expensive at all. But I'm going to open them up and I'll see how I like them. Or I should have opened this before it came on camera. I wanted to at least open up one. So this is the medium to deep tan. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can even see that. Holy moly. That is very, very moisturizing. It blends right in. Medium to dark tan. Hmm. Because I don't have a mirror, I'm looking in my, my viewfinder. Wow. Definitely a moisturizing foundation stick. I haven't opened the others yet, but that's what I got. I was really happy that I saw that it could be used as a contour because I do try to contour my face and I I, rem I remember it was last year or it might have been even two years ago I took a class in Sephora you know how some of the larger Sephora's have these classes you can sign up for and I took a class in Sephora on how to contour my face of course I forgot everything they taught me oh my gosh guys this stick wow it must be it must be a full coverage because it has covered up all my age spots on my hand. Holy camoli. I bet you it'll look, I bet you it'll cover a lot on my face. Anyway, so I got, I got those and I thought that was really kind of, kind of good. I was happy I got that. The other thing I got was, um, the, I normally get this off of Amazon. Maybe last time I was actually physically in a store, I saw that Ulta had them. And this is Sweet Spots. These, uh, this is the Vanilla Blossom. I really love this. This is a gentle wash, pH balanced. It is perfect for your delicate areas. I love this wash. Now, I bought I bought this size in off of Amazon. I don't know. I don't know how long ago. And I usually have a backup and I'm almost out. So, I paid more for this on Amazon than I paid for it in Ulta. And then with the 20% off, it was awesome. So I got one of these. They had three different, I was going to say flavors, but that's not the right way to describe it. Fragrances maybe. But this is really nice. It's not overpowering smell at all. It's just very comfortable, very soothing. And I feel really nice when I use it. <laughs> I know, huh? So sweet spots. That's what I indulged in. In Ulta, I went over to uh, Marshalls and you know I'm an earring person. I love earrings. I love earrings. A local lady made these earrings for me. They are the kind that have the, the back, the lever layer back, which I can never wear. They bother my earrings. So I just took the, I just took a little, like the back of a stud thing and I just put it in so that the lever layer didn't clip down on my, my ears. So I bought these at a local place in my hairdresser supplies. I have a whole stack of earrings. And most of these, I would say, with the exception of just a few pairs hanging here, most of these were created for me from my life with Wendy, who's an awesome, awesome jewelry creator. I love these. These are all silver. 
These are really pretty. I have to place another order with her. I really want more hoops right now. Big hoops. So I'm going to, I'm going to contact her. I think she does a fabulous job. She created this as a surprise pack package for me. She had put this beautiful scarf that you can actually wear as a mask. I keep it in here. I love it. I have, of course, I have some lipsticks in here and, and um, another bracelet in here. But this is what a lot of you see when I'm filming in the other side of my, my room in here, where this is on my bookshelf, along with my Barbie dolls. So my life with Wendy, she has really created some beautiful earrings. So I am an earring person. So I went into Marshall's and I saw these. I just thought, I don't know if you can see them. I haven't put them on yet. I just thought they would be so pretty and I'm really trying to do something to make myself in a holiday mood and I thought these were so pretty. They're not expensive. I think I paid $12.99 and uh, they're very, very light and I think they'd just be, I think they'd just be pretty earrings for the holidays. So I bought that. I thought they were really pretty. I also bought, and this I bought, Marshalls. I happen to really like a lot of the products that, I love Living Proof, Living Proof Per For Care Body Builder. I really like this spray a lot. When I buy it in Ulta, it's a lot of money for a smaller container. I saw this for the very first time in this large size in Marshalls, and I bought it, and I thought, holy moly, that's really good. So I got this. I really am looking forward to it because I really like this a lot. The other thing I bought is the Batiste Dry Shampoo, the original. I have a lot of the Batiste Dry Shampoos, but I have them in the... This one is Brilliant Blonde. I have one that's in a brunette shade. And my original one that I have is empty. It was one of my empties and I threw out the canister. So I replaced it with this. And I got this in Marshalls too. And it's like so much cheaper. More affordable than if you buy it in Ulta or anywhere else. I use the dry shampoo mainly for my wigs. So a lot of times when I get a wig, if I'm going to keep it, a lot of times I'll review wigs, I end up selling them. But if I'm going to keep a wig, I usually spray it. So uh, mainly just to take some of the shine down. And sometimes I'll thin out a wig too if it's too thick, if I'm going to keep it. If I sell the wig, I don't bother doing that. But if I'm going to keep it, that's what I do. I am... A, I love sexy hair products. Uh, sexy hair would be nice too. My bio hair is not very sexy. But um, I love sexy hair products. I use the Powder Play. I've used a number of their products over the course of time. I really like it. I have their big sexy spray and play that I've bought. And recently, Octoly, I saw this. And I think I showed this on my Insta story. This is sexy hair, Sandrid milligrams a CBD called Calm Leave-In Conditioner. I love this. This was sent to me via Octoly from Sexy Hair and in exchange for review, totally complimentary. But like I said, I use a lot of their products to begin with. I love their products. So this is a leave-in conditioner and I have used it now for two, two and a half, maybe three weeks. And what I do is after I wash my hair, I just spray it in. And I kind of like massage it in. It's not, there's no smell. There's no film. It is light. But what I'm thinking it's doing, because I am such an avid CB, CBD person, I use CBD oil on my skin. I have for a long time been putting CBD oil on my hair. Uh, but you can't do that every day because it would just get super oily. So this really floats my boat. I think this is awesome. It makes my hair feel good. And I think over time, it's going to improve my hair. Maybe it isn't going to make my hair thicker, but it's going to improve the hair I have, maybe more shiny or maybe more stronger so it doesn't break off as much. So I'm excited about that because you know I love my CBD oil. So I got that by Octoly in exchange for a review. I've used it. I like it. If you see it and you're a CBD person, try it. If you're not a CBD person, you might go, uh, uh But I'm telling you, uh, the benefits of CBD be discovered, I think. So I love my CBD. I also saw this. This is Sexy Hair, big fun razor. Got this via the Octoly Network as well in exchange for reviews sent to me. It was a no-brainer when I saw it. And there was another product that I wanted too, and I didn't get accepted for that one from Sexy Hair. But I figured, all right, they sent me two products. That's that's good, and that made me feel happy. I mean, it, it gives you instant huge volume 
and it says fundraiser absolutely it is volumizing it is really nice i like it the spray comes out woof. it's like it's heavy you know it's not like heavy wetness but you the puff that comes out of here when you spray it is it's pretty big you can tell by the nozzle um, it, it's pretty solid so anyways i love this this one was sent to me complimentary but like all my other sexy hair products I, i'll buy this and sometimes you can see these products in Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or other places, and so well worth it. The other thing I got sent from Octoly, I think I've had this for like almost three weeks now. This is from Clarence, and this is their Jolie Blush in the color 06. I love their products. I love their mascara. I have one of their mascaras. It is the best. I love that mascara. So anyways, I love this one. I've used it a couple of times. I like how it has this little round little brush in here. You can see it right here and then just swipe it. It's very, very light for me. So what it does, instead of being a blush that sits on my cheeks, I would have to put it on a couple of times to get the color intensified. What I do is I've been putting it all over and it kind of gives me sort of like a peachy do, I, I guess, a peachy look. Sent to me again, complimentary via Octoly from Clarence and I'll tell you that mascara. I know I talked about the mascara it has knocked, I think, every mascara I've ever tried off. It really has. I really like the mascara. And I am, I'm a mascara snob, I think. I've been doing a lot more masking lately. And this was sent to me. This is in my trash. This was the Dr. Jart. When I get into a really peeling episode, which I have, this is a two type of, uh, it's like two, two in one. You've got your regular mask with all your serums and then up here you sort of have a sugar scrub. So what you're supposed to do, clean skin, open it up, put the sugar stuff all over your face and just gently put it all over your face. Then you open up the mask with all the serum and you put the mask over and you kind of gently massage. Oh my gosh, do I love this. I love this. Highly recommend that. It's a Dr. Jot. I know they're pricey, but highly recommend it. Now, I have masks galore. I love my City Beauty. This They have an amazing holiday special out right now. I'll make sure I link that. I love my City Beauty masks. I love a lot of my City Beauty products. I also love Gin Amber masks. So when I think about my masks, City Beauty usually comes up number one for me. The Dr. Jot, especially this peeling mask, is fabulous it's absolutely fabulous so i'm going to you know tell you just check out the prices and the sales and all that stuff because there's some amazing products speaking of amazing products cpt gummies so jay and i when we were in maine we, well yeah you can buy cbd pretty easily all over the place in maine so we were in maine and we were buying the lazarus natural naturals um cbd oil and we went in there to buy it and because we knew there was a big sale on it and when we, I went to try it and so they also had these CBD gummies and these are 10 milligram gummies 100 milligrams in total um, this was strawberry ice cream <laughs> strawberry ice cream gummies I love them I thought I thought they were really awesome so that was in my trash I would definitely buy it again another thing in my trash was I finally went through my foot exfoliation peeling mask this is the second one I've done I will buy this again I thought this was absolutely fantastic I was um, contacted by a company recently to see if I would try their foot exfoliation peeling masks and of course I said sure I'd love to. Please let me know what you're looking for. What are your terms? Well, their terms were they wanted a TikTok review. I politely declined. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not a TikToker. <laughs> and I certainly, certainly don't think I want my feetsies all over TikTok. Um, what else do I have here? I, so, I feel like I have so much. Oh, skin store. Uh, I had received the New Face. Mm, I think I'm on month four of New Face right now. And I was getting really low on their primer, the gel primer for New Face. I was shopping around. I did get a aloe vera. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I did get a couple of different recommendations from some of you subscribers on different conducting gels to use with New Face. And then I watched one of the New Faces. They have like a live on, New Face had a live on Instagram. And I watched that. And after watching that, I decided 
that I was not going to put anything else on my face. I was not going to be using a body conductor gel that you do when you're going for ultrasounds or whatever that they put on your belly or here or there. I wasn't going to do that and I wasn't going to do aloe vera because I didn't think that the water base of that had enough of the conducting properties to really make the new face work correctly. So anyways, back to my story. So I had decided, I made this decision that I was just going to use the new face gel, at least for the short term future or long term future. So Skin Store had an amazing sale. I'll link all this stuff below and I have like a coupon off as well. And my coupon will default to if there's a higher sale so you can still use it. Just make sure you verify everything in your basket. But anyway, Skin Store, have you, if you haven't gone on there, you really should go on there. So they were having a sale and I got to use my own coupon and for the sale price, I got two for the regular price of one almost everywhere else. I got such an amazing deal and this is the large 10 ounce gel primer, the New Face Gel Primer. This is the large size and for the two of these, I, I mean it was, um, I can't remember the exact amount of money, but it was so much cheaper using the coupon, getting it from Skin Store, than even when I looked on Amazon, I couldn't match the price. So Skin Store, yeah. If you're looking for any products, check them out for sure. I happen to love the new face. So that's my haul. That is everything I have. And uh, I, some, I know some of you will ask, you know, what's going on with my background. <laughs> I wanted something a little festive. I don't know if I succeeded. But, you know, Jay and I don't decorate for the holidays, really, because we've always gone up to my sister's house, so this is going to make me feel a little holiday-ish. <laughs> Bye, guys.